Hi everyone, Corey Thorne, Spiritual Intuitive Guide, Empowerment Life Coach. Thank you for joining me. Today is, I have to look up again, it's Monday, July the 23rd. Um, as I said before, working seven days a week, you never know what day it is. So, this reading is going to be, it's a combination, I think, of everything tonight. It's a little bit of a coaching, it's a little bit of a past life, it's a little bit of a reading, it's a little bit of everything all combined. Uh, it's for this full week coming into the following weekend, into the 27th, 28th, and following right through until I think the following Monday. It really feels like for me, it's just a, um, a lot of major arcana cards coming out, a lot, of, a lot of change, a lot of shifts happening, and it just feels like today feels like an exciting day, um, even though there's some, even though especially um, for I, what I'm watching on the news today in Canada, you know, we've had a shooting in, there was a shooting that happened in Toronto and it's some heavy energy and it's, um, it's painful, it's hurtful, it's, it shouldn't be happening. It should not be happening. And um, for whatever reason, why, what would possess somebody is beyond me. Um, so I'm, I am sending love and strength and healing to the people of Toronto and to the people that were there that experience it and to the families of the of the victims who have lost their lives um it's just devastating but um i do want to i do want to go forward with with the energy that i'm feeling for today and i think the more that we rise our vibrations the more that we start to rise up and we we start to work towards finding an end to what the news report was saying like um, he suffered depressions. Um, is finding an end to to depressions and finding a better place for us to be able to sit mentally, and you know it's mind, body, soul healing, and it's it's about really stepping into a place of being healing from a different level and healing from an inner level and getting people when no one else gets you, and, that, and that's what it feels like for me is that the optimistic that I'm feeling is that we're starting to get. We're starting to understand that not everyone fits into the same box. Not everyone fits into the same mold and it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be different. It's okay to, to have a different view. It's okay to have, you know, it's not okay to hurt people. It's not okay to do those things, but we're starting to have more acceptance so that we're starting to understand people a little bit better or understand each other a little bit more. And to, it's, as I was saying in my Facebook live, a place of less judgment, but the energy does feel um, in the, in a round today is and not counting this situation is happening, but I just feel like there's an optimistic energy that we have hope, that we have some hope of good things and that we're planting seeds right now. We're planting seeds of better things and we're planting seeds of, of hope into being able to end some of the wrongs and put an end to some of the, um, some of the things that we fought so hard to, to be our rights or to be, it's like, you know, do we, do we need this much excess of anything? Do we need, it's, um, we're just coming full circle is what it feels like to me. And it just, and the whole sense of that with this optimistic feeling that I'm having is that we are starting to understand each other a little bit more. And that was what was kind of resonating with me. And then I went into a whole sense of that we are going through. And so I got cards piled on top of cards here. So I'm going to go back here. And it's like, so the messengers are, messengers are showing up in all forms. And what you're finding is that a lot of us messengers are being attacked. So we're being attacked for being messengers. We're being attacked for trying to help. We're trying to be, we're being attacked for doing good. And, and no matter what form, it's whether we are a spiritual healer, whether we are a, someone who stepped into politics to do the right thing. Um, or if we are, you know, a pastor, a preacher, every one of us that are in that role or even as a mom a dad anyone that's trying to help our teachers we we're always in that place of being of being put up on i would say we're like the witches of the salem witch hunt type of thing is what i always what is kind of what i keep saying is that we we always got critics we always got people who are going to judge us we always got people that are trying to knock us down and i had an experience of that yesterday on my facebook live and uh first i never usually respond but something told me to respond yesterday and to respond with love and light and to really and to stress the point that i make my work come from a place of being non-judgmental and 
you know, and I'm working really hard at within myself to be a better person and to do better things and to know that we always have an improvement and we always have things that we can work on. And this is where in the mystical shaman cards, the crow came up and, you know, the shiny objects and the shiny objects sometimes are us that are in the limelight or us that are speaking out and speaking something different or acting different or doing, you know, showing up in a different way to help or, or talking about things like that's a controversial thing, like talking about God or talking about and, and what are, whatever our form is of spirituality or religion and whatever it may be, that we are coming from a place right now where not everyone, not everyone is still not accepting instead of looking at us all as having a purpose. And we all are reaching out to, to the person that is drawn to us and that is coming to us for, for the assistance and help so that we have less of these people that are stepping up in the world that, you know, less these people that are having to hide away their depression or trying to pretend like there's nothing bothering, bothering them and um, really starting to find a place for everyone. And it's not, you know, there's, there, don't get me wrong. We're not the, I'm not the professional psychologist, psychiatrist, doctor, don't prescribe, you know, none of that stuff, but sometimes it's just an ear. Somebody just sometimes needs someone to listen to, a different perspective and to be the different perspective for the person and what are when we are listening I, you know most of us that are in this are gifted with the gift of listening to what people are not saying not what people are saying everybody can talk and say exactly what you want them to hear um so today has been a little bit stressful and i've been having this breakout all day today it's first it started those little red dots and it's gotten just it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and it just feels like that's the energy even though it's an optimistic energy that we're going places, it's still a heavy, there's still some heaviness there. But it's um, never stray away from listening to the messengers, never stray away from listening to everyone, have an open mind, pay attention, and don't be distracted just by one thing. Like, and just get caught up into one view. There's so many views. Don't just say, this is, this is how I see it. I don't want to hear yours. Um, so when sometimes when I'm getting attacked and, and then I bring up the fact of God or Jesus and Mother Mary and the work that I do around there, and they're, well, how could you, right? And, or that, you know, Buddha and all these things, it's, it's a collective of, a collection of information and knowledge that just flows through me and just comes through me. And it's not knowing where it's from and um, being okay with, being okay with not everybody's still gonna get us. Okay, sorry, my phone was just, just bling in there. Um, so we are, um, sorry, that was an important one that I have to take. So as we're going into the, as we're moving forward into this week, we are going into a place of major arcanas. I just, it's all the card decks, everything has come in it with major arcanas and Archangel Michaels and paths, all lots of paths and directions and taking, and taking a, taking a direction, right? And like, there's lots of different options through different paths. And sometimes you just gotta take a risk and go, you gotta take a risk and just go in another direction in another way in another light. So be okay with all of that. Um, sorry. I'll edit this out. All right, so yeah, just taking different directions and different paths, and I feel like what I'm seeing is that some people are in situations right now where we have different directions showing up, different options. Uh, it could be anything from relationships and um, it could be relationships. It could be, um, could be job offers. It just feels like there's, like I'm seeing a spread out, like whoosh, and don't, don't worry. Mm. 
don't worry about the way you're going or the if there's going to be a wrong way or a right way. There's consequences, of course. If you're going to take one direction, it just seems like it's going to slow you down. It's going to turn you into, it's going to just take you in another direction. But it's going to be okay. It just feel like you have, it's now the opportunity and the time to take some sort of leap of faith. And so the major arcana cards that are coming out, that came out first, was leap of faith and new beginnings. And that you have to take a jump in, in into something. I don't, it doesn't matter what it is, but you have to take some sort of a, it could be a little baby jump. Don't have to be a great big one. Could be just a small one, but something. And that there's the new beginnings and there's so many new opportunities. It could be a move. It could be a relationship. It could be a work thing, but I, I'm pulling towards, I'm pulling towards relationships. I'm pulling towards something that you weren't expecting, something that uh, you thought was gone, or something that um, that you had kind of either given up hope on, or or that you thought the that person was never going to be interested in having that kind of relationship. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I pulled the lover's card with it too, and it just feels like it's around here. And then I pulled the moon, and the full moon is to shift. This full moon is very much about being very emotional. There's lots of emotions around here. And I just feel somebody, there's lots of little emotions and I feel like coming together and I'll be in place together. And that there's some sort of um, healing and beautiful energy. And that love is more powerful than hate. Love is more powerful than hate. And I feel like this is a good time to remember this is that the more that we come from a place of love and the more we can let go of the angers that we had or that we can let go of the, let go of the um, I'm right and you're wrong, the more that we can start to let in or let go of the whole, oh, I'm going to be single for forever because I was hurt or I was, and it just, it's like, that's old energy, old stories, time to start letting in the new, start letting in beautiful new things. And it just, I keep pulling that this is more, like, I hate it because I've been at this for weeks doing the relationship thing. It's been relationship, relationship, relationship. And that's what it feels like to me. I'm like, oh God, let's not talk relationships again. <laughs> but it's, I'm sorry, but it's in the energy. It's all around. And there's like an improvement in the plan. So. Not all plans are meant to be stuck to exactly as they are. And this is why these, these cards are saying, take a little bit of risk, take a new path, like, because there's, there's several different directions and walk, you know, you're walking towards the light no matter what. But one seems to be, you know, it's like there's two or three options here. And um, you had a plan in your head and you're like, nope, I was stuck to this. This is what I was doing, or this is what I wanted. And this is all, and I'm not changing my mind and blah, blah, blah. And then something else showed up. And there's like this, oh, well, now that changes things. Now I have to think about things a little bit differently. And that's what it feels like for me. It's that kind of energy. It's, there's, it's okay to have a change of plans, but it's, it's okay to also be very emotional and it's very okay to sit in the emotions. And this is what's pulling somebody back or pulling somebody new into your energy. It just, it, it just feels like there's just um, a time right now when you have to face the fears that have been facing you for a long time that you keep blaming somebody else for it's time for you to take responsibility for your own actions for your own fears for the things that you self-sabotage in relationships in jobs in life in yourself i can't do this because or this nothing ever works out for me dot, dot, dot. those type of things that are always showing up then that's those are the things that we're facing right now because they are fears and those fears keep manifesting and keep getting stronger. And it's time to say, I am done. I've had enough of that. And know that whatever's coming into your life is going to be loyal. There's a loyalty. I just see like a loyalty. I want to say it's a loyalty card, but I don't actually have a loyalty card here, but there's a loyalty. It's like you, you are being given what you need because when you surrendered, when you said I had enough and I can't do this no more with the last full moon or with, or with your last, with your last breakdown or your last collapse, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I can't do this no more. And this is like, this is the rewards, the benefits that are, the, the blessings that are being given to you now. And it's okay to kind of step into that and to have that and to know that that's exactly where you're supposed to be right now. It's, it's, it's owning up to the fact that I'm no longer going to carry this because I need to start to be stronger in myself. I need to be stronger in trusting my own intuition and stronger in, in trusting my own journey. 
and um, and I'm going to take the pieces that resonate with to me from everything that I have learned from all of the people that I work with or all the people I've been listening to. And I'm going to form my own opinion. I'm going to be my own judge of character. I'm going to be my own judge. I'm going to be, I'm going to be the person who makes up my own mind. And it is the time for you to not be so caught up in. It's like, I would say there is such thing as Oracle abuse. If you have been the one who's listening to every single thing on YouTube that you can possibly find, waiting for a different outcome than the one that's facing you. That's called Oracle abuse. And then you find the one little item that says, that's what I wanted to hear. Cause it made it, it was safer, easier. And this is not about being safer and easier. This is about moving into a new direction in the best version of you, in the happiest version of you and in the healthiest version of you. And so that's four major arcanas. And I feel like it's go, it really goes into this whole year. It's like probably, it feels like it goes a little bit into next year as well, a little bit into, um, September, October of even next year. Like it's like, it's like halfway through next year. It's like, it's just been, it's that kind of big shifts and changes that are happening. And it's time and it's, and it's the energy of where you're not only just going to, through shifts and changes, you're finding your voice, you're opening up your throat chakra and um, allowing yourself to speak your truth and standing up for yourself. And I just feel like there's many opportunities where you've kind of said, that's okay. I'm going to let that go. No, this is now the time to claim your personal power and to be the platform. And I've been saying this for a while now that, you know, you're seeing people stand, you're seeing women standing up, you're seeing uh, different organizations standing up and speaking their truth. And it's just like, you know, we're not doing this no more, like the Me Too movement. And we are not tolerating this anymore. We're not making no more excuses. We're not covering up this no more. It's time to make a shift and a change. And this is the shifts and change that are happening. And so they're happening in the world and they're all, but they're happening in the people first. And so the more that they happen in us and the more that you're seeing it in yourself, the more of that ripple effect that's happening out into the world and that you are putting out into the world. And then I need to go inside these cards because I feel like I have them all piled up. And then it's the goddess, it's that beautiful goddess energy right now. And I, and it's like, um, a lot of people have been so focused on their personal lives that they've kind of let other things slip like finances. Um, finances is another big thing. And I feel like in order to have a healthy relationship in any form with, with anyone is you have to get your finances in place. And this is a good time to really look at that. And I have this fantastic book that I've been reading when I was at the last Hey House, <laughs> when I was at the last Hey House uh, writers workshop, uh, this lovely, lovely lady, Nancy, Levin spoke about her book and as soon as she starts speaking, it resonated because this is what I have actually been working on this past year is, is finding my own self-worth and really, and yes, us spiritual workers are always working on ourselves. We don't just quit. Um, worthy boost your self-worth to grow your net worth. This book is incredible and I have wrote notes kind of everywhere, all over the place throughout this book. I have just been writing everywhere and it's so important to really understand why 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 when you're having a bad day do you go out and spend or what is withholding on to money whether you're the type that that is cheap and you hoard up every penny and you keep telling everybody that oh i'm so broke i'm so poor but in the meantime you have a you have a nest egg sitting in an account you know so what is your fear or you're someone who's who gets a dollar and you spend ten dollars? You know, what is that, and where does that come from within yourself? And it's like this all links together. And how do we have healthy relationships when we can't even have a healthy relationship with ourselves and with the money? And then putting that in perspective, that goes in perspective to having the right kind of job that suits us, and not a job out of desperation. Something that makes us feel complete. Um, a lot happening. I just feel there's a lot happening. My phone's like buzzing up here. Um, Moving into, and the mystical shaman card is out. And I feel like that's really, like there's so many of us spiritual healers that are, like I said, on this journey of being, um, becoming a bigger voice or a louder voice and, and being judged for that. But, but also that you are, everyone has this in them. Everyone has their own little shaman in them, that you have your own little, you have your own little intuition that's there and it's in your gut. And it's like, you just have to start trusting it and trust in making your own decisions, your own choices, and still, you know, using, 
still getting information from this. We still all work together. We all, that's actually what my phone was ringing about earlier. So I'm actually having a session with a, a beautiful woman in a little while. She was just behind. So I'm, um, we support each other. We're not competition to each other. We support each other because it's all so important that we all work together and that we all come together. And so this is your time to work with yourself and to work and to work um, not to be fighting against yourself or feeling to need to be struggling and to fighting or um, suffering. I mean, not right, to be suffering. It's a good time to start to really um, find that, find that coexistence and that and co-create co-create with spirit join together with listening to your spirit listening to your guides and calling upon those who have passed before you and then just one more card and i'm going to mother mary deck again it's mother mary and mary magdalene are very very active energies right now as well because we're going through a lot of transformation and we have a lot of strong female voice right now and a gentler society. So my very first card that came out was optimism. And this is exactly what I was talking about in the very beginning. Optimism. Good things are happening. Good things are happening. You have to trust. It's like we're being told that we are, even, even though the world will have stuff happening, we, we can't all become, the, we can't all become the ones that tackle on top of that. We have to still have faith we still have to have faith that things are going to get better, that we're going to find a better world. We're going to find a better, we're going to find much more peace and happiness within ourselves and within the world, that this is not, this is not how things are going to stay. And that the more attention that we bring in change instead of attack, the more that we're, that the more we are going to start to see the beautiful things happening. And we are all stepping into a place of sending love and light and to be in love and support for each other, no matter where we are in the world. And so yes, so the other card was watched over. And then one more card, and the card that came out was Jesus. And that we have something, something more powerful than us, bigger than us, that's always walking beside us without ego and has no desire to spend so much time caught up in the poor I, 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 I'm the one suffered. I'm the one who's this. It's people, it's, it's people like this or images like this or spirits like this that say they have done, that they are here to do the work, to be the support for us as we become the light. And as long as we hold faith and as long as we continue to walk in love, light and prayers, that we are going to be the change that happens. And we're going to be the change in our relationships. We're going to be the change within ourselves. And that we can always, we can always call upon that higher power to help us and to hold us strong, even when times around us are weak. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you again in a few days. And have a wonderful, wonderful week. And prepare for the full moon and write down everything that you would like to let go of. And hopefully you'll be attending or having a, your own little full moon ceremony on Friday. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.